right, I think we're live. Now we're live. <laughs> Welcome everyone, it's Kirsten here from Kirsten Foss Coaching. And if you've been watching my lives for a couple of years even, um, normally I'm sitting in a different spot and I've got a new computer, so um, doing it this way. Uh, and also, if anything goes kind of hinky here, this is the first time actually I'm using Facebook Live on uh, desktop. So it looked a little different since the last time I used it. All right, so today I wanted to talk to you about um, something really um, important uh, for our industry because since we've been hit with COVID uh, closures, uh, many of us, you know, many uh, provinces and states are have already reopened, um, but there's some that's not like California is still parts of California are still struggling. So, you know, the past month, um, I have really, really felt very passionate about especially skin therapists and med spas doing, you know, the COVID pivot with their business and to get their, their skin services as many as they can online. Because <laughs> If you're closed and you know with a pandemic we are certainly going to be seeing uh, uh, more waves more closures and already this has been very 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 hard on the spa industry so you know some of some of you guys are are will continue to struggle with closures with having limited amounts of services hey Susan uh, there you know a lot of you guys are really struggling having you know limiting the amount of people that can be in your facility um, you know, a lot of you are having troubles kind of keeping, keeping staff or having them come back, whether they just don't feel comfortable coming back, but it's, it's been a huge issue. So with all the kind of craziness of what's been happening to our businesses, it's really, really important that we look at the places where we do have control. And for the spas that are more um, general practitioners, like manis, pedis, waxing, lashes, the pivot is a little difficult, absolutely. But for those of you that um, are skin therapists, that are a med spa, you absolutely can be doing virtual skin services. And the thing here is that you are really starting to focus on your retail sales. Now, some of you have hopped on and are starting to do virtual skin consultations. You are, uh, I have actually a client who's doing uh, virtual skin facial parties. Uh, I have a client who is doing um, virtual facials online. So there's all sorts of ways that you can get a little creative uh, about offering virtual skin services. But the problem is, is that many of you are overwhelmed with like, just kind of how to put it all together. Um, and also overwhelmed with kind of how to put the tech together. And I know human nature, human behavior is when we get overwhelmed, we tend to just not do it. <laughs> we put it off, procrastinate it. We'll get, you know, we intend to get to it. But um, the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, especially if you are open now, it's easy to, to kind of get back into the habit of relying on your uh, treatments, your in, in clinic or in spa treatments uh, for your revenues. And while that is all in good, we have to be um, realistic about what's coming down the line. And that is most likely closure. So rather than wait until you have a closure and, um, you know, then I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to make some money? Oh my God, now I got to try to get together a virtual service, a virtual skin service. That's an extremely um, stressful. So what I have done this past uh, about three weeks now is I've put together a virtual skin consultation toolkit for you. And it's a series of documents, um, Word documents and PDFs. Um, what you get is you, um, there's, there, there's, it's for the skin consultation services and there's two different types. There's a mini skin consult. Hey, Rebecca, you're doing a virtual spa soiree night tonight. Awesome. With your product company. Excellent. How, it's crazy how much goes into the social media site. Absolutely. And here's the piece. Like you can't, you have to look at this as a new revenue stream and you have to include that in your social media. Absolutely. Um, one of our social media clients, we've been consistently promoting her virtual um, facial parties and she's, it's really starting to pick up for her. 
So, you know, just like anything, whatever we put, put focus to grows. Um, this particular client, she's in California and it's just, you know, like, what do you do? <laughs> and so she did it because she was closed and still needed to serve clients and wanted to serve clients. And so um, I totally applaud her for, you know, really uh, doing the work and staying with it because it's, it's doing really well now. So with this toolkit, you get um, a document that has your service descriptions all written out for you because I know you guys hating write, hate writing service descriptions. So you can literally copy and paste it from the document and put it on your website and start offering it. It's just that simple. Um, there's also uh, customer service scripts in there. There's the, the difference, like as far as the protocol between what a mini consult is versus a more in-depth um, skin um, assessment, home care and treatment planning, those are very different. You wanna have very clear boundaries about what each one uh, provides. The mini is like a 15, 20 minute consult. And what it is, is that it's literally mimicking uh, somebody coming into your spa and off the streets, walking in and asking about your skincare, you know, asking questions. Hey, I have some pigmentation from the sun. Like, do you have anything that can help with that? And, and folks, what I want you to really, really, really get right now is that in the skincare uh, business, you know, we're compete, we're trying to compete against the Sephora's and, you know, the, the big, the big ones. And yet we have so much more knowledge and so much more experience um, as a skin therapist to share our knowledge and our recommendations with clients that are online looking for products. So our industry has a huge uh, leg up on the kind of more over the counter products. So, you know, the, our industry needs to, to get rolling on this. And um, if we're not doing this, if we're not pivoting where, when life gets kind of crazy and uh, the industry took a turn that nobody anticipated, we, we're entrepreneurs, so you know, part of entrepreneurship is being able to problem solve. It's being able to be resilient in our business. And if you can't problem solve and you are, are not resilient, you know, I'm actually gonna put a, like a, a line in the sand and say you might not, it might not be right for you to be an entrepreneur because that's just part of being an entrepreneur. It doesn't always feel good in these situations, but you know, entrepreneurs really know like, okay, once I get over my little pity party about this is so frustrating and this isn't fair and you know my business was doing so great until covid and now everything's shot to crap you can have a pity party but you know you got to get back on and you got to figure out okay how can i solve this what are my options so having something like uh virtual skin consults whether they're minis or more like the full app 45 minute hour deeper uh assessments and home care planning um you need to have something that you can offer your um you know e-commerce online peeps, whether that is your existing clientele or whether that's uh, new people that are looking into your business. Now you can, it's not like it, it just has to be retail because you can also include in your recommendations out of virtual call, what you would recommend for your service treatments to, to make sure that the home care actually works even better. So that when you are open uh, and reopen that, those people know exactly what um, they can book, all right? So we've got the toolkit instructions, we've got um, email scripts and uh, sequences. Hey, how about I walk you through this? I'm gonna do a screen share. Uh, this is actually why I wanted to use this, but I haven't, there we go. All right, here we go, let me hit this. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through it because when you do purchase this, this is what it looks like. Um, I, this is the, the membership site that it's hosted on. Um, this is your virtual skin consultation services toolkit right here. Now, what, actually what you will see before this is um, this is the, the page that will show up. And when you click buy now, it's priced at $97. I wanted to make sure that this was an easy yes for you because this is about like getting rolling. We gotta get rolling on offering virtual services. So it's just through PayPal, and once you click on this, it will take you to, um, you have to click on the little terms here, it will take you to your uh, PayPal link to sign in with, okay? So once you have purchased, 
it should give you instant at like when you get an email as far as logging in and getting access to the course so down the side here these are the modules and they're grayed out well uh, if you haven't purchased it so this is the actual preview that i wanted to walk you through so we've got four different modules in here we have the virtual skin consultation setup and this is where you have your uh the two different service descriptions uh the protocols for each one of them um it also has some customer service scripts in there especially for um um you know as far as kind of what to ask uh especially in that little mini consult um, and also there's some scripts in there for overcoming uh, sales objections so you know when clients are like oh okay thanks you know i might use up what i've got at home um or oh i'll just come in for treatments in my opinion objections really point out that they don't quite trust what you're saying so it's not because most of the time when people have objections like that it's not usually about the money there's something else and it usually just means that you haven't explained things well enough um, and they're still a little bit confused and they haven't kind of connected the value to um, the product or the service so I have those uh, overcoming objection scripts that will just help you to be able to like confidently give an answer to that doesn't sound salesy or weird or awkward. So in um, each of these modules, so once you have um, paid for the toolkit and you get access to this, you just click on here, the lesson, you view, it'll view the, view the module. And then each of these modules have a video tutorial to walk you through as well, okay? And right here is the actual download of the Word document. So you would download this, print it out if you want, um, and then just follow the instructions with the video tutorial. The video tutorial just kind of gives a little bit more info and you know fills in a few little blanks. All right, now to the next module, once you have that, let's click on this a little slow there we go so the next module is how to use your email scripts and sequences so email scripts and sequences when it comes to doing uh, e-commerce virtual consultations that kind of virtual facials one of the big aspects that's missing in the spa industry for sales is follow-up <laughs> um, raise your hand if you're like uh yeah I'm not so great at the follow-up and when it comes to e-commerce and virtual um, offerings, it's so critical to have an email follow-up sequence or system because it's how you capture kind of lagging sales. People are distracted. You know, if you've had a virtual mini consult and you've shared your prescription with them and, you know, walk them through what, what you know, how to purchase and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, maybe you have the best of intentions of, you know, going to your website and ordering, but maybe they just forgot. So having these little emails uh, going out on a consistent basis, and I even have like, you know, week one, send this, week two, send this, week three, send this, week five, send this, week eight, send this. And each one of them are very, very specific in terms of what it's doing. It's not just sending spammy emails there is a very specific job for each email sometimes it's to offer support which is about customer service sometimes it's an ask whether it's you know asking for a product review asking for a selfie and post it to social media and tag us um, offering a coupon code if they do a certain uh, action uh, in terms of uh, referrals and sharing what their experience has been so I guess what I'm getting at is I know that you guys don't like writing. <laughs> I know that you guys aren't good at copywriting. And so I specifically wrote out the series of email scripts and sequences for you. So it's literally copy and paste. You just take out the little bits um, and customize it for your own business. Um, if there's anybody commenting on here, I can't see it when I'm uh, screen sharing, but I will come back to, to it. All right, what's the next uh, module is the recommended technology. So again, I know that you, a lot of you struggle with how to put kind of the tech together so that it's a, a seamless system um, because this is already going to be a learning curve for you. If you have not been offering virtual skin services at all, you're, it's going to be that learning curve at the beginning of like, you know, just like when you learn a new treatment uh, and had to do it on your first few clients, it's kind of, 
you know, just takes a little bit of extra time maybe. And you're really thinking about how you're doing things and you're thinking about how you want to customize things and you're thinking about how you want to do it better next time. And so adding the complexity of tech can sometimes be that, you know, that last thing that this last straw, like, okay, I don't want to do this. It's just too much. So I've got a, a Word document here that walks you through um, the recommended technology and you can download that, uh, that document right here. And it can be low tech um, or it can be high tech. So if you are not good at technology, we can keep this simple. <laughs> if you love technology and love automations and, and all of that kind of stuff, then go high tech. You have your choice. All right, what's the next module? The last module is our uh, is the client form. So I have a few examples um, of I have three PDFs and the first one is the virtual consultation client intake. This would be for the bigger one um, for the small mini virtual consults. You don't need to have a client intake. It's you know, you're not going to do a client intake. If somebody walks in off the street, you're just going to ask a few clarifying questions. But what you are going to do is that you are going to be charting. So there is a an example like all three of these PDFs are examples of how you can set your uh, client intakes up and how you can set your charting up. So there's some um, lots of little good little nuggets in there and talking about um, <clears throat> forms, whether your spa system um, has a form integration. So I know like Booker and MindBody and Jane, they all have, uh, and Vigero all have form uh, capabilities in them, but some don't. And I have a list of um, uh, sites that you can use for your forms. So that's all in there as well. So that is the uh, Virtual Skin Consultation Services Toolkit. It's $97 US and as soon as you purchase it, you should be able to get access into here, into um, the learning lab as I'd like to call it. And all you need to do is just get started. It's just that easy. All right, I'm gonna go back to, I don't think I'm, ah, there we go, I'm off the screen share. All right, so uh, Jessica, yeah, uh, Rebecca, yeah, I will absolutely DM you. Um, Janie, you're uh, awesome. Oh, thanks, Janie. Absolutely. <laughs> it's the procrastination. Every, we've all got these really great ideas. I mean, even me. Um, I have a list of ideas, but all of these things take time to develop, to make sure, like, once you've developed it, are there any pieces in here that maybe don't work or not as smooth? Um, you know, you got to test it. <laughs> so it's very, very time consuming. And if you're busy with other things in your business right now, if you are open, uh, that could just feel like one extra step that you can, you know, not on your, on your list of to do's. And here's the thing. You don't want to wait until you have a closure again to start this. You want to, the situation that you ideally want is to get started with this now, kind of like a plug and play do some social media around this to, to announce your virtual consult service launch and then just start seeding it in your social media, in your uh, email marketing. Now, if you're open and you're thinking, well, if I'm open and people can come in, uh, no problem, why would I put up a virtual um, skin service on my website? Well, because not everybody actually feels comfortable coming into uh, the spas these days and there's a lot of people. Some people have compromised immune systems. Some people just, you know, it's just not comfortable for them. They're not ready yet. So there is a there is a demographic that is ready for this. Um, and you know what? Our industry has been slow to pick up e-commerce and virtual services. And unfortunately, we had to wait until COVID hit and you have no other options. But whatever. <laughs> it's here now. We're here now there's some options for you to start um, offering virtual skin services. So uh, thanks, Nicole. So now what's next? So once you have virtual skin consultation services, you know, the mini consult and then the more in-depth assessment, um, you might wanna be offering uh, virtual facials or virtual facial parties. Um, that is next on my list to do to create. So I probably won't be able to get that out for, if I'm really honest, probably till October, 
because I've also got another uh, course that I'm in the middle of creating for spa teams. So I kind of, it's kind of like, you know, I'm like you guys, dun, 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 dun. sometimes it feels like a bit of a circus, um, but it's organized chaos. <laughs> it's very busy over here at Kirsten Foss Coaching and with our done for you services, virtual spa business management. But you know, it's all about making sure that we can serve the spa industry because I'm no longer um, serving uh, spa clients anymore. This actually used to be my uh, little aesthetic studio. Um, Delia, my manager, um, she's slowly tapering off of her uh, in spa, in spa uh, hours. And so, you know, our, our goal between myself and Emma and Delia, uh, we really just want to serve our spa community in, in any way we can. Because we have the tech know-how and we're really comfortable with tech, that part's easy for us. And because we know the spa industry, we can set up uh, tu tutorials and toolkits and processes for you. Uh, Jeannie, yeah, it's true. I'm going back to awesome. That was such great news that you actually found a space to be able to work out of a few days a week. Uh, and only 50% of your clients are returning but are happy to know I have virtual services. This is just about good customer service, folks. That's all it is. And for you, most importantly, it allows you to be able to rebound and start your recovery process after COVID because the truth of the matter is our growth initiatives, um, our growth strategies at the beginning of the year got absolutely tossed out the window. We are now in a kind of you know, kind of crisis management and, you know, we're kind of over the crisis management piece, but now we're in this place of um, making sure that we are getting ourselves organized in our business to be able to continue to serve, continue to earn um, and keep our businesses open more than anything. All right. If you have any questions, um, the link for uh, to purchase the toolkit is in uh, the, the description above. If you have any questions, please feel free to, feel free to DM me. Um, other than that, time to get cracking, guys. All right. That's it for me for Thursday Spa Business Break. I will be back here probably in about two weeks. I'm still giving myself a little bit of spaciousness um, this summer. Uh, last week, I had to cancel the Facebook Live because my poor dear aunt had passed away, and um, I'm grateful that I have a little bit of extra space in my life and in my business that um, I could be with her, my family could be with her at the end, and also just have a little bit of space too and time to get myself back together and get back to work. Thanks everyone, I so appreciate you, and best of luck on adding your new virtual skin consultation to your menu.